As the rest of the world is fighting the most difficult battle since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, Israel seems to be in another world altogether. Just when we were getting used to the idea of wearing masks wherever we go, now we won't have to, at least for the time being, until the cycle starts again. Hannah Rifkin reports. Around the world, cases and deaths are continuing to increase at worrying rates. Globally, the number of new cases per week has nearly doubled over the past two months. This is approaching the highest rate of infection that we have seen so far during the pandemic. But here in Israel, that is simply not the case. Beginning on Sunday, the country is virtually back to normal. Israel is lifting COVID restrictions that require wearing a mask outdoors, but wearing masks in closed spaces will remain mandatory. In addition to reversing the mask mandate, children are returning to their, quote, normal routines on Sunday. The education ministry announcing over the weekend that students could return to full-time schooling six days per week without capsules and with no restriction on the movement of teachers, aides, or students. Infections continue to drop, apparently because of the country's successful and quick vaccine campaign. On Saturday, Israel's health ministry recording only 82 cases, with an infection rate of 0.8%. There are 126 Israelis in critical condition. Also, a coronavirus variant from India has been detected in Israel for the first time. The health ministry is saying the strain was found among seven unvaccinated travelers who returned to Israel from abroad. It was not specified where the seven arrived from. India is currently battling a widespread surge in infections, with experts suspecting the most likely cause is the presence of more infectious variants, including the one detected in Israel. Israel's coronavirus czar, Professor Nachman Ash, said in an interview over the weekend that Israel is not yet in the clear and herd immunity will take time. He also said he was concerned about the Indian variant. Ash said, we need to reach about 75% of the population having been vaccinated and or recovered to reach herd immunity. But we are seeing low morbidity data. Meanwhile, the CEO of Pfizer estimating that it could just be a matter of months until the population will need to be revaccinated. A likely scenario is that there will be likely a need for a third dose somewhere between uh, 6 and 12 months. And then from there, uh, there will be an annual revaccination. But all of that, needs to be confirmed. Hanna Rifkin, ILTV.